everyone, my name is Brian. I'm an RT here and today I'm going to show you how to set up to use and assemble the Aero 3 High Flow Nasal Cannula. So first off, let's gather equipment. We got to grab our Aero 3. We also got to grab a package which contains our humidifier chamber and breathing circuit, which is also shown here. Next, we'll also grab some water for humidification and then also an interface. Uh, today we'll be using the OptiFlow Plus. We have three sizes. We have the small, medium, large, and we also have the tracheostomy adapter. And then last, we'll also grab some red stickers to be placed on our sterile water for inhalation. Okay, to set up, first off, we're gonna get our chamber. So on top of here, when you first open up the package, it's gonna have some blue coverings. You're gonna remove that, and you're gonna place this clear adapter lining up the openings. And you're gonna slide this chamber into the Airvo 3 heating plate. You wanna make sure it lines up with the openings of the Airvo 3. So this push plate right here should also make a click. So if it raises up and it's leveled with its edges like so, then it's connected correctly. All right, second, we're gonna go ahead and attach our sterile water for inhalation. We're also going to puncture it and we're also going to open the vent cap. Next we're going to go ahead and also attach the circuit with your selected interface. So today we will use small. Make sure the prongs do not fully occlude the airway through the nares, you want to keep some opening to allow for exhalation. To attach, you'll match the grooves together and you'll hear a click. When you attach this, you're going to see some prongs. You also want to match that with the prongs of the Airvo 3, like so. When inserting it, you'll also hear a click. Last but not least, we'll place a red sticker to prevent any confusion between IVs and sterile water. Okay, next up, we're gonna go ahead and start it up and how to set up. So in order to set it up, um, you're gonna go ahead and make sure it's always plugged. In a patient's room, you wanna make sure it's plugged into a red outlet. And then you're gonna plug in the oxygen. To turn on, you're gonna press the middle on and off power button in the middle here. You wanna hold down for two seconds. As you turn it on, it's gonna ask you a question, um, whether it's gonna be the same patient or new patient. This right here means that the dis disinfection process previously was done. So it overrided that. So it goes straight into the setting. So here you have three cells. On the very right, you have your humidification temperature. In the middle, you have your flow setting. And on the right in green, you have your fraction of inspired oxygen. So right now it's on a standby mode, indicated by this blinking start button. But right now I'm just gonna do our basic settings. So we're gonna keep it at 37 degrees. To change any of these cells, you're going to tap you can either slide this bar up and down or you can use these two plus or minus signs to kind of change the level. So we'll keep it at 37, so we'll press confirm. For flow, we'll start at 40. Confirm, and then oxygen. You can slide it whatever level, but today we'll keep it at 21%. Confirm. So now we'll start it up. 
Now you hear the oxygen going through and the flow. Some other settings we can go over here on the main touch screen. On the very left, we have your data and graphs. It just gives you some information of the patient, some of the data as well, how, how fast they're pulling. Um, other information on right is your menu option, these three bars here. Here you can also set, set uh, settings and alarms, but here we don't do that. Uh, we do have the option to lock the screen. To that, you're going to select lock screen, and the device will automatically lock. To unlock, you tap the screen, and you'll hold the lock button. Now unlocked. 